What's up guys? Happy Friday. Um, it's been a rainy one here on the Gold Coast this morning. Um, but yeah, it's time for a weekly update on how the cut's going. So first things first, weigh yourself. Um, well, use the restroom, then weigh yourself. Uh, but the first thing I did this morning, I just woke up, had some coffee with my wife. Um, God, this terrible wallpaper, isn't it? Gosh, I'm trying not to show that. Um, so I woke up, had coffee with my wife, and then what else did we do? Oh, then she went to work, um, and then I did my morning routine, which this is something I've been really trying to do lately, um, just to be help my productivity in the morning, um, get me in a good headspace, because um, it's it's been rough lately in the sense of productivity, um, where I'm at mentally, in the sense of you know the first thing you do when you wake up, you usually swipe on social media and just you have this you're reliant on this dopamine response basically all day long and you're just programming yourself to be reliant on that every time you wake up like you know how many followers did I get how many likes did I get did someone like did people like the video I posted anyways so morning routines are huge um, getting yourself structured is massive so um, so I meditated that's the first thing on my list uh, and then I read so I read um, I try to read a chapter a day if I have time. Uh, the book that I'm reading, where is it? Um, I'll show you guys the book that I'm reading somewhere else. And yeah, so what we're doing right now is just gonna cook our first meal, so let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna do our first meal here of the day. I typically go with a proteins and fats meal. Um, it, that puts me in the best, um, again, the best mindset, the best headspace um, for productivity. If I do, if I do carbs in the morning, um, first thing, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if you guys do that, um, that's okay. Uh, especially if you're going to work out, um, you know, a couple hours after, a few hours after, but you know that, or if you just like carbs in the morning, um, some people are a little different, but I personally like to do proteins and fats. So that's just me. You don't have to do that, but I like to. So the meal is going to look something like this. So we're going to have, we're going to do some smoked salmon. Um, tip on this, don't cook it. I know um, some of you might be laughing at that, but I promise you it's not that far-fetched because it wasn't two years ago um, before, well, not even a year and a half ago now. Um, you know, I got married. Uh, my wife made fun of me because the first time we ever kind of got, got this, I cooked it. So don't cook this. this is um, avocado, we're gonna go a couple eggs here and then our veggies so hashtag year of the micro shout out to Mike Vacanti um, I highly highly recommend getting at least uh, three to four servings of vegetables per day I, I do like leafy greens because um, one they help with volume two they're just great uh, great in micronutrients phytonutrients things that are gonna help you stay healthy so here's our meal as a whole Spinach, eggs, avocado, salmon. So a little tip here with the eggs, if you just put your temperature on low and cover it with a lid, you will have over easy to over medium yolks with fully cooked whites. All right guys, same tip with the spinach here as the eggs, we're just gonna put it in here that's a lot of spinach per se, just to eat raw, but you can cook it down, steam it. This lid doesn't fit, but I don't care. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a lid that fits this pan, but yeah, just steam your, steam your spinach and it'll be a lot more tolerable to eat. And yeah, add a great micronutrient bulk to the meal. All right, now we're gonna weigh our salmon, so we're going to turn on the scale until it hits zero and just plop our salmon on there. So I'm going for about 200 grams. So we'll go until I hit that number. All right, I hit 211, so 
That'll work. So for the longest time, I actually didn't know how to cut an avocado. So I don't want to assume you guys do. So you just kind of cut it down the middle here, go around. I know this isn't a cooking channel, but I just want to make sure you guys know how to do it. And kind of just twist it, and there you go. And then you can get rid of the pit, however you please. And then kind of just cut around here, cut around the edge. And then you can kind of chop it up like that. And then just, yeah, throw it on your plate, weigh it, eat it. So here's how the meal looks. Uh, we got salmon, roughly eight ounces, like I said, 200 grams, about 50 grams of avocado, two eggs, over easy. And then you see how that spinach cooked down. The bowl was like filled up to here. So definitely steam it, put a lid on it. But yeah, that's basically the meal. And I'll put the macros right here. All right guys, meal two is about to go down. Uh, so we just got off the phone. Uh, we did some client stuff, uh, Skype calls, website stuff, just a part of being uh, an online coach, part of doing online business. Um, you just spend a lot of time doing that stuff. Especially it's a part of living across the world. Um, you got to talk to people that are back in the US. You got to do it like that. So uh, I'm sure you can tell my eyes are super tired. Um, again, a part of being on the phone and just staring at a screen um, basically your whole life. Um, but anyways, <laughs> meal two is about to go down. Um, what we're going to have is, I'm about to show you. We're going to have some lean beef. They call it mince here. So about, about 200 grams of this, about eight ounces we'll have. And I'll even take you here. We're gonna do some broccoli. And since it is our pre-workout meal, we're gonna have our carb source. So English muffins with some strawberry jam. So another piece of advice on the veggies is to put it at a medium heat and then we are going to simply add a lid and allow it to steam itself so i really don't touch these and then just cook that as you normally would chop it up make it little bits and whatnot so that's the base and we'll cook the carbs all right guys this is a tip that took me a while to learn actually um, but Instead of putting the plate on the scale and then putting the jam on the toast here, what we're going to do is we're going to put the jam actually on here and then just scoop it out and that's where we're gonna, how we're going to measure it. So we tear it to zero. The scale says zero right now. We'll take it off. We're going for around 60 grams of this. So I have a pretty rough idea of what it looks like on each muffin, so we'll see if I can get close. So it's right at 51 grams. So I can actually afford to do a little more. Do it on this one. And 60 grams, it says right there. It says negative 60, and that's what we're looking for because we took 60 grams out of the jar. So here we have meal number two. So we have the English muffins, the strawberry jam, and then we have beef, broccoli, and two servings of ketchup. So the macros will be on right here. All right guys, it's been about an hour and a half to two hours since the last meal, meal number two. And that was our pre-workout meal. So what I'm gonna do right now is mix up my pre-workout supplements, my pre-workout, um, so some energy and pump products, along with a daily um, muscle recovery type um, of supplement, which I will show you guys. Um, and then we're gonna be off to the gym and we ride to the gym on a bike. So um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do, uh, do our lift, it's leg day, um, it's a lower body day, 
and then we'll be back here for meal number three. So I'll see you guys then. What's up guys, we're back from the workout. So we're gonna cook up some dinner. This is gonna be meal number three. So we have chicken breast, and that's gonna be the protein source. And then we have our vegetables. Again, earlier I mentioned that these are untrackables. I wouldn't worry too much about these. Um, we also have some leafy greens, uh, just some salad mix, nothing special, and some spinach. So we'll make probably big salads out of these. And then the carb source for post-workout is gonna be these pad thai noodles. Um, really good option. So yeah, super dense in carbs, good option. They're very voluminous. So being in a deficit, um, these are great because they, they just go a long way. So we're gonna cook everything up and we'll show you midway. tip is I highly recommend some kitchen shears or scissors of some sort. Um, this just helps. One, I hate cutting up chicken with a knife because it's horrible and it slips everywhere. If you've ever done it, you'll know. And two, it just makes it cook a little better. So if you put the entire breast in there, like it wouldn't cook through very well. So you'd probably burn the outside without cooking the inside. So. And if you ate chicken fat, like, me. like my wife, then it's really easy to cut it off. A lot of vegetables. So we have zucchini, bok choy, tomato, and then yellow and green pepper. And then we just throw some soy sauce on there. don't have to weigh this either. And then we just throw a lid, maybe. Just throw a lid on there, doesn't matter if it fits or not. And then we have just been boiling these. These are super easy to make. These are the Pad Thai noodles. Uh, these are super easy to make. They're probably close to being done actually. So I'll go ahead and check those, but that's gonna wrap up this meal. And I'll be, Oh yeah, we had greens as well. Um, so these are what bowls the bowls look like. So we just, we throw the greens in there and then I weigh out the meats, the protein, and then these aren't weighed, the veggies aren't weighed as I said. And then the only other thing that's going to be weighed in this meal is going to be these Pad Thai noodles when they're done. So yeah, and then I'll show you the macros after it's done and that'll wrap things up. So here we have the finished meal. So lots of volume. This will definitely fill me up going into meal number four. All right guys, so meal number four, uh, it's 9.30, give or take. Um, so this meal is going to be a very, very simple one. One, because I'm tired. Two, I'm really not that hungry, but I need to get the macros in. So we're going two scoops of vanilla selects. And then we're gonna go two of these English muffins I had earlier for the pre-workout meal. And then just 40 grams of this strawberry jam. And then, yeah, so I'll put the macros on the screen somewhere here. And then I'll go ahead and wrap up um, the video here and I'll total up the macros for the entire day. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up so I can see that you guys actually like the video and make sure you subscribe and also again if you guys are new to this episode or new to the series and have only watched this episode make sure you guys download the free guide that's the first link in the bio or in the description so again thanks for watching and see you guys next week